coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. Well, today has been on the hotter side here in the Wabash Valley, certainly feeling quite like August. We crossed the 90 degree mark in many places, but it was a pretty start to the day. News 10 photojournalist Jaron West was at Dimming Park earlier and caught these photos just after sunrise. You can see a little bit of the fog that was out there. The water looks pretty refreshing. If you have to get out and about trying to get some exercise in, walking the dogs, things like that, try to get that done in the morning or in the evening when it's not quite as hot because it is toasty out there right now. Temperatures in the 90s in most spots across the News 10 viewing area. 91, a popular number in all Vincennes, Robinson, Casey, Terre Haute, and in Sullivan, 90 in Mattoon and Paris, and 92 up in Rockville. But our dew points are in the lower to mid 70s in most locations. So we've got a really juicy air mass in place, very humid. And so when you factor that in to our air temperature, our heat index is in the triple digits in several spots. So feeling like 102 in Terre Haute, 103 in Casey, the heat index is 95 in Linton, and 97 down in Alling. So the forecast focus, we're going to be staying with this hot and humid weather pattern at least for one more day. And with it, we do have some air quality concerns that are going to linger through the daytime tomorrow. But it is going to be relatively short lived because after tomorrow, a cold front is going to be coming through and that'll bring us some refreshing changes as we get into the rest of the work week. So looking at the Storm Team 10 storm tracker tonight, we don't have too much happening locally, so I've zoomed it out. And that's thanks to an area of high pressure that's centered just to our south. And what that area of high pressure is doing is keeping the sky clear, but we do have some wildfire smoke that's drifting overhead from those wildfires burning out at west and so the high pressure is pushing some of that smoke closer to the surface and what that's doing is reducing our air quality in some locations in addition to the high levels of ozone that are out there so an air quality alert is in effect technically for knox davies martin and green counties but the rest of the wabash valley also seen that reduced air quality so those are threat support issues may be sensitive to that as we get through the daytime tomorrow. Now, as we look at future cast, we're going to keep the sky mostly clear tonight, so just going to be warm and muggy. We go into the overnight hours as our wind becomes calm and our temperature approaches our dew point. That could lead to some areas of patchy fog again tomorrow morning. Don't think it's going to be too widespread, but you may encounter some of that if you're out and about early on. We get into the daytime tomorrow, very similar to today. A lot of sunshine, a few clouds bubbling up in the heat of the day. But then as we get into the evening, that's when we start to see a cold front settling in, and that may spark off a few isolated showers. So I think the vast majority of the day Tuesday is dry, but we will have a few isolated showers of possibility as we get into Tuesday evening, and this is a fairly low chance for rain. So unfortunately, if you're looking for more rain, I don't think everyone's going to see this, but it will be a possibility as that front slides through this hot and humid air mass. When we get into Wednesday night, we'll see that chance for rain come to an end, but a few lingering clouds are possible on Wednesday. Notice the wind shifts and comes out of the northeast. Wednesday is going to be a much more refreshing day with the sunshine returning by the time we get to the afternoon. It's for tonight dropping down to 72 warm and muggy with some areas of patchy fog developing closer to sunrise. Then we get to tomorrow 94 for the high. So another sunny, hot and humid day with our heat index around 100 or a little bit above. But the wind will pick up a little bit tomorrow out of the southwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow night 67, mostly cloudy with those isolated showers developing as that front slides through. That'll shift the direction of the wind and bring in some cooler air. 80 degrees for the high on Wednesday, 83 Thursday, 84 Friday. And then we see another surge of some refreshing air by the time we get to the weekend. We may not hit 80 on Saturday and beyond that chance for isolated showers tomorrow, it looks like we'll be staying dry.